boat is busier than ever. We've got five passengers currently on the boat, uh, and two of them don't have a place of residence. Astrid and Gustav, who we picked up yesterday, uh, neither of them have a residence, and the boat's not big enough for a residence. Summer is waiting to go to the Evador, which we'll probably do towards the end of the video. We're going to naturally progress across the map to Albert, and then we'll head to the Evador and... Yeah. Let's just have a little check in terms of what meals I've got available. We've got some popcorn, some tea. We'll stick some hot coffee on in the morning. We'll go and do Astrid's quest at one of the islands. And then we'll sail straight to Albert because we've got tons of cash. See the bloody hell snoring. Um, so yeah, we just need glims for that one. Silica powder and zinc ingot. I think we can get the silica powder, but not the zinc. Marble, no. Fire glut, no. So we can just get that. Oh yeah, and then we've got some shenanigans. But we don't have a zip line just yet, so... Um... We'll build an orchard for Alice. I've not checked the materials for that. Yeah, we need to go to Iwashima countryside. Hurry up, Matt! Which is this one? Yes. Well, let's stick some coffee on. Maybe if we get some milk at some point. Morning, everyone. Uh, let's check where the wandering goat is. Not hungry. Some fresh coffee beans. How many do we get? Just two. Oh, they were tea leaves. We'll stick coffee in that one. Let's check on the civilized sheep. Oh, you're bloody starving, mate. Oh no! Beautiful. Apples! Nice. Right, we can go. Alice, how are you, my sweet? Um, oh, she doesn't like stimulants, right? Got some popcorn. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, have this salad. Some fresh lettuce. Oh, cabbage, sorry. That's not what I meant. Yeah, let's get some celery in there. I don't really like this colour palette we've got rock we're rocking at the minute, but we don't have much choice. We've got some fresh Java. What did you have for me, Alice? She baked something. Uh, apple pies, rice puddings. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. I've got something for you. Apparently not. Is that because she's busy? Some seeds. Oh, beautiful. Cabbage. Um, yeah, have some rice pudding. Perfect for breakfast. Am I supposed to be giving something to him? Um, got some coffee? Beautiful. Uh -huh. Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. 
but it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realise that space might be an issue. That's why I've thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then, grab a pencil, listen carefully. The gallery is a paradoxical space. For it, both houses, works of art is and is one. I'm finding it really hard to understand Gusto when I read what he's saying. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. That's such <laughs> And that is one of the many ways that the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated Etruscan architecture in its ideas. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. You need me to rip? No, Christ, no. Well, if you insist. Come on, lad, give me that wall. You as well, you hairy creature. Have a leak. <laughs> Perfect, we're here. Let's see if he's around. Yeah, let's go, mate. Well, hang on. Do you um, need something to eat? Uh, do you want a brew? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Alright, here we go. Oh. oh yeah, we've not been back to this place since we learnt, got our powers, I don't think. We could do with some more wood, though. Come on, Daffodil. Put you back into it. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts, but he wouldn't linger in a place mm -hmm. like this, but who knows. Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too mm -hmm. far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you'll find interesting stuff. Excellent. Old carpet. Oh, we need to go to those coordinates as well. I don't think it's written on our... Who? I don't remember his name. That night he didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he didn't say anything about that. He did say that he was going to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him, tell him Eileen misses him. Oh, dear me. This is the life. Oh dear, Gustav, the player. A real Lothario. Is that the right phrase? Draw, please. I forgot um, about all the materials here. Back more copper. Oh, limestone, we need that, I think. Excellent. Man, the days, the, the day-night cycle is a little stingy, in my opinion. Oh. Hang on, mate. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say, and he met someone. No. <laughs> Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he mm -hmm. went. 
For a gower, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely mm -hmm. place. Well, at least that's what the brochure said. I've always loved these colourful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. All right, Munchkin, let's check it out. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go there now. I think it's probably best to de uh, go back to Albert first, because we're gonna. Uh, this feels like we're gonna be led on a wild chase. We could go to the Everdor first, to be honest. I don't think there's anything stopping us going there from this direction, I mean. Uh, Furugao was this one, yeah. So we're we're going to be going backwards. Right, probably going to run out of time here. What does Gustav want now? Where's that bloody merchant? Here he is. I'm not sure we need to sell any- oh yep, we got this carpet. That's all right, mate. You go on your way. So it's like, I wonder how we use the lettuce to make like a salad or something. Maybe we need to upgrade the place again. Oh, it's night time. Everyone's gone to sleep before I could feed him. That's bad. Right, well, this is going to be summer's last night here. Really like summer, really connected with nature. Have a little look at the blueprints that we've got for this uh, gallery place. Glass, marble, cotton thread, and oak planks. So everything other than marble we've come across. We're going to have to explore more to get hold of the marble, I think. Yeah, obviously everything already built for summer. Oh, nice, because I've got the limestone. Uh, I won't do this now, just because I want to head straight for Summer's visit to the Everdor. Yeah, I've only got three places of residence at the minute. Is there going to be another kitchen upgrade? I don't think so. In the world. Oh, I'd light. I mean, I don't know what fire glow is, though. There is an improvement for the field, for the garden as well. The foundry, so we're just going to need to explore more for that stuff. And there isn't one for the sheep corral. I don't know if I can build two, or, or if I even should build two. Well, that day went by super quick. Well, we're on our way to the bloody Everdor. And some coffee. Um. Nourishing. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got you. Some broil. Uh. Or boil. Oh, yeah. 
It'll be a final meal. No, I don't want to catch lightning again. Come on, let's keep going. Oh. You're always hungry. I will stick a few brews on. Oh, I forgot I'd already put something in. Sorry about that. How are you doing, Mr. Sheep? No, you're all right. Be nice if I could have your friend in here, wouldn't it? Okay. We're in the red waters, man. Stella, are you ready to go? Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye to summer, everyone. I really thought I could keep up with it this time. The dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring, the warmth of it in my chest. I guess I just did it all over again. Just like my father. The dragon is a beast. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it, or to beat it down. Oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. But I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. The gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. She knew from the beginning. She knew that the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. As much as I hate it, it's a part of me now. It will be forever. Oh, obviously the dragon feels like it's a metaphor for something like a, a disease or something present in her psychology or A depression she was fighting, or something, or something bod bodily. 
If I want to leave gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. I was looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. So proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left to show you is what we're made of. Of ephemeral starlight. We're but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last, this is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. But all things change. But all things end. I'm so proud of you, Stella. And I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. We're all starlight somewhere. Oh, we didn't get a memory flash this time. <laughs> Mushroom salad, nice. Wow, Summer was... Oh, she's left something for us. Oh, her, her spirit flower. Yeah, she was, she was really in touch with nature. In like a sweet and melancholic way. Recognize her transients. I always think about the ending part of a particular film, a film called Synecdoche, New York. I'll try not, I won't spoil anything, but there's just a bit at the end of that where. There's a line about you recognising your transients. Oh, I got more sunflowers seeds back. A simple ox eye daisy, summer spirit flower. It can be used to upgrade the boat. Oysters. 
cotton fiber, nebula fiber, depth of delicate fabrics. Oh, so we crushed the seeds to get the oil, obviously. Oh, no more lightning storms, man. Not just now. Cabbage? Can we make kimchi, maybe? Gustav, what the hell's up? Uh -huh. The lack of food is quite depressing. Alright, man. Chill out. Have some rice pudding. This meal is nourishing. Yes. Give me a cuddle, mate. Um, Summer's gone. Good, good. Not found out any food preferences. Oh, have I a bit of violin? Nice. You got something for me. Can't wait for your cabin. It's going to be pretty. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not. Got some nebula fibers probably on the way. So I wonder what the dragon means for summer. Like I said, whether it represents. Because, you know, a lot of this feels metaphorical in a way, you know, that we're experiencing. We're in some sort of um, purgatory here. It feels, which makes our presence here a little worrying. Hello. No, not yet. Uh, what did we collect? Limestone. Nice. Let's stick some aluminium in here. Slate. Some fresh iron. Made these for me. Oh, thank you. Copper. Quick, let's get our course plotted. Maybe try and cook something with the cabbage. I can't really remember how the hell you make kimchi. So new stuff we've got. We've got uh, cabbage and celery. Cabbage and rice, jeez. 
Um, oysters? Oh, it's too late. Right, so let's just have a look at what we might need that we can actually make. We need two spirit flowers for that. So we should probably go make a Lord of Aluminium. That would make sense. And oh, we need some more slate. More linen fabric. We could use some of these nebula fibers. Just to, just to see. Oh my god, they're quick. Because they're very delicate, I guess. with this one. Goes very quick, the aluminium. we made. Oh, shellfish stew. Let's just put the cabbage in. And see if it makes kimchi or something. Is that what kimchi is made from? I don't even know. I don't even like cabbage. <laughs> I love my greens, but never got on with cabbage. Right, so what did we need? The ne oh, nebula thread for the orchard. Oh, we can fit it in. Nice. Uh, who wanted this? Alice, right? Yeah. Might as well. It's in nicely there. You can only go one square above, I think. So. Uh, was there anything else? So, a windmill. We need marble for that. We've got a field. We've got a sheep corral. A chicken coop. We don't have any chickens anyway. We don't know what pulsar ingots are. We need that extra piece of slate that I put in the that I put with whatever they're called. Um, the air draft, nebula fabric, oak and iron. We've probably got enough for that, right? Yeah, we could go and do that. Oak, iron and nebula fabric. to be poor quality cuts. Perfect. No! Uh, 
daffodils had enough. What did we make? Questionable meals. Oops. So maybe we can use the lettuce, but we have to combine it with something. Yeah. Let's see. I only got one nebula thread. Oh, I used, I used them, I used them. Let's go and wake everyone up quickly then. I'll uh, feed everyone after I've spoken to Albert. And got on the big ship. Oh, oh! You got a beautiful orchard full of apples. You don't know what lives and reads inside, do you? Book wounds! <laughs> ah, classic. Right, time for the Dauntless Dolphin. Can't get that. Or that. But we can get this. Bounteous. <laughs> Cheers, me old mucker. Ooh. What have we made? Not another questionable meal, please. Oh, more stew. Um, you'll like the mushroom salad. Um, I baked something. Oh, nice! More rice pudding. Gustav's nice and full. Uncle's still asleep, the lazy git. I'm sure I rung the bell. Good morning, mate. Um, some shellfish. Um, a coffee. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this orchard. Exactly as I remember it. Oh, Stella, you built an orchard, and it looks exactly like the one my husband built. Have you seen all these fine details? Yes, he was quite the woodworker. At least until his hands gave up on him. He planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. But once grown, it makes you feel so proud. It accompanies you your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. I'll get it. I'll get out of your things now. So we've got apples, cherries... Oh, why did I plant another apple tree? I'm such a fool. Maybe we get to ch choose. I thought there'd be three of them. Oh well. Great job, Matt. Right, we need that iron. And then we'll look at what we can build. Takes bloody ages this iron. Come on, Stella, it's got the graft in. Hard graft.
Right, we'll get this going, pick up the other iron, put something else on for cooking. Set our next destination while the iron's cooking up here. Map the destination first. I do need that slate, so let's just see. What? Is it because I left? You're not allowed to leave. I'm sure I've left before. Bloody temperamental iron. I think this will finish on its own, personally. I think I've even got time to give Daffodil a hug. Is someone playing the harmonica? Get that slate because we need that. Thanks, mate. Man, this stuff uh, grows so quick. I can afford to put one more in. Yeah, I'm running out of iron, so... Oh, I've got some here. Yeah, some coal. Yep, off you go! Alright, we've got loads of room to build now. Let's plot a destination. Yeah, um, let's... I just want to check that message in a bottle that we had. 58 minus 11. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get there. Let's see. Right, now, what could we build? Not that. So we can build Astra's bungalow. Wow, that is a lot more space. Gustav's gallery is still a way off. We need the marble. I think we could manage to get everything else. And I could build this airdraft. I don't know what that means. Does that mean we can fly? I think it does, you know. 
This is a very inconveniently sized bungalow, mate. I gotta be honest. Look at the bloody size of this. <laughs> Is there a, like a, a way of fitting this somewhere else? Tell you what, let's move the orchard. Could just stick it there for the time being because it lines up really comfortably. Try and build this, I guess. Right, so that has to go on top of something. Let's stick it on top of Astrid's house. For the time being. Talk to Astrid. Let's talk to Astrid first. He's more important than some someone who's drowning. <laughs> Stella, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. You know, I love simple things. Simple things make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like when it's too complicated or luxurious. Mm -hmm. I just don't. That's who I am. I've always been like that, as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. Mm -hmm. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes. I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? But it didn't mean a thing back then, and it still doesn't to this day. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. I know I shouldn't. I know he's a worthless mm -hmm. riff, he's worthless riffraff. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now, but... I just can't forget about him. Hey Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga's written to us about him, as she said she would. Mm -hmm. I'd be so grateful mm -hmm. if you did. Thanks a lot, Stella. Mm -hmm. I won't forget this. Oh, God. I can't believe I didn't plant a cherry tree. I intended to, I just thought there were three of them. Uh, here you go, mate. My raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was going to see my sister on... Wait. I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. There's rice patches, a shop and a big monument. Oh please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please. Help me out here. Driftwood. For a gower? That's pretty far away, man. You're just going to float here. You can get on board. Because you turn to driftwood. That's really far away, mate. Now let's um, fast travel to Puragawa. If possible. No, we've got no mail. <laughs> See you, mate. Oh, I forgot to plant something. Bloody cabbage. Right, I'm out of seeds.
Right, who needs... Do you need something to eat, mate? Yeah. Uh, do you want some shellfish? Nourishing, thank you. God's sake, Uncle. I need to remember to click safe, uh, safe journeys. Sorry about that. Let's go and make sure we put safe travel on. Oh, no, no, no. some more of that now while we can. Right, what else have we got? Oh, we're here. Oh no, it's night time. Easy to keep everyone happy with coffee, right? Right. Let's be quick. Mm. Uh, did we have enough for uh, someone's upgrade? Yes, yes, nice. Frame photographs. No, comet powder is a mile off. Cotton fabric. And a TV set. I'm coming. Uh, for a gala. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mate. Morning, I'll just set the course for Furugawa and... Got two quests that have diverged there now. You're not hungry. Astrid? Have some coffee. Oh, sorry. Um, shellfish? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Coffee? Ooh. Everyone loves coffee. Ooh. Something baked? Excellent. Are you hungry? Coffee? Ooh. Oh yeah, sorry. Popcorn. <laughs> Alright, come on Astrid. Do we have to wait for Astrid to get in the boat? I don't think so. Mm hmm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I can smell? This peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance? He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. 
Have you seen the promiscuous man? Oh. Giovanni. That name, don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago, big man, thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Rice patch. Yeah. We're looking for someone's sister, right? Oh dear. Lost at sea? He always does this. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. The year before it was the bad economy. How could I be sure you're not some strange person he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that snaps him out of it. A letter. I'll read that then if you want to be so ungrateful. Simon, this young lady told me of your misfortunes. You must either be the most unlucky person in the world or you truly don't want to see your family. Enclosed is my address. Don't get lost this time. Your sister, Agatha. Alright. Bit harsh, abandoning you, brother. You misery. Yeah, he's gone again. <laughs> what a bust. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral, floral mm -hmm. cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. Mm -hmm. I... Let's go back to the boat. Munchkin. Let's go, Munchkin. Yeah, check the mail, we don't have any yet. We need something else for that, right? Oh. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I hear, heard my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her. I heard we received another one. Masha, you say? She's her sister. She might know something about Giovanni's location. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go talk to her then. She is, how to put it, special. Me and her. Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing Messenger. You're wonderful. Where is it, though? Finder. Okay, great. Right! Um, we're near the end of the episode, but... There's Susan's museum. We can obviously get some more stuff from there. Right, that is the ice barrier, but I don't know what this rock barrier is. When we got... When that thing sent, made it sound like we could fly, I thought it was going to be a way of flying over it, but... Um... I guess we head down here to the meadows. It'd be warmer there, I suppose. We've got the meadows and we've got the pier. Should we head north? What are you doing over here? Oh, that's Masha. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to head to the pier first. Right, what have we got that needs doing? I like to end the videos at when we hit night time, but... Doesn't really take that long, does it? Need more coffee, dude. How are those trees coming along? Jesus! Oh, we were breaking through ice. Oh, you hungry, mate? No. Just do this till we arrive. 
you can see it uh, moving around. This tree still, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped it tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for excitement. Adventure. I thought if it's not too much hassle, of course, and since we're travelling all over all the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet? Nordweiler, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour these. What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a, you, I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we could have loads of fun. Not CPF. New destination. Yeah, so I've kind of screwed myself here. Now I'm going to have two apple trees, right? Which was unintentional. You're a bit stuck there. Oh my! <laughs> you know, she loves desserts. Right, um, yeah, we've got time. We can check this. What am I doing? We can check this place out. Before the video ends. Last video of the week, I believe. That's locked. Oh, madame, you've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster. On a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. But we can fix that in post. <laughs> we'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress. You don't do vaudeville. You've never been with Siegfried. Siegfeld. Nothing for those French shepherdesses, or whatever it's called. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But that's true. You're you're in discovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my new young star. Oh, it'll be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yeah. I knew I could count on you just walking these streets. You'll be a star in no time or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now, we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new bow. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes it must be Giovanni, the new bow. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town's drier than my shirts on our clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy's off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently, she's been taken in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could also get the demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. 
She just brought, bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone you'll think will pop on the screen. Do we get to choose? We can talk to both or just one, I'm not sure. Everything's locked here. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just that screaming. It's the threshing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. It came with the early bird swimmer. Oh, this is high up, dude. Um, how do we make this work? Oh, God, sorry, Stella. Antique bust. Careful, Daffodil. Oh, there's a zip line. Right, where are we uh, going to get the next ability from? Come on, Daffodil, quick! Right, we got some. Let's just have a look at the map because we can't look at the map at night time. Oh, right. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Okay. Well, we said goodbye to Summer. She seemed somewhat content, but there's definitely a bit of mystery over, I guess, the metaphor of the dragon and what it means. Anyway, we'll leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember everybody, always remember summer. I'll see you next time.